Hi guys, I'm here today with a challenge video. It's actually going to be a first impression slash challenge because I have these gorgeous artist makeup brushes here with me and I asked you guys on my Instagram if you would like to see a first impressions, a thorough review or a five minute makeup challenge and the opinions were so mixed that I decided to just combine two in one so I'm gonna do a five minute makeup challenge using these brushes and give you my, as I'm applying makeup, I'm gonna give you my first initial impression. These are the famous Artis brushes. They're so beautiful. They're definitely um, a luxury purchase. That's why I think it's important to have an honest um, review and opinion from someone before spending so much money on these brushes. This is the Elite Collection and I think this is their newest brush. It's the Palm Brush, Mirror Finish Palm Brush. and how amazing are these boxes so um, when you open it up the brush is actually it doesn't come like that it comes with the bristles uh, facing towards the bottom of the box so it was a huge struggle for me to get it out of the box I don't know why but it's just made in such a way that it's really difficult to get it out so I think they should change that up a little bit but the brush itself looks like that it's insane you have to touch it it feels like a very soft luxurious thick carpet <laughs> because it has hundreds of thousands of bristles so it's extremely dense and I love that it has this channel for your finger which makes holding the brush very comfortable and it also has this like rubbery white um, kind of rim around the brush so it also doesn't slip out of your hand and this you can use for applying foundation, bronzer or like a body bronzer. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose brush and it's so soft. Um, okay, and then the other brushes that I have here, it's the special three set. So we have oval three, oval six and linear one. So these look like that. They kind of look like spoons, don't they? So cool, super shiny as well. I'm gonna get them out of the box and give a little close up for you guys. So the number one is um, a very skinny brush. This can be used for eyeliner or for eyebrow product. Then number three is a little bit thicker. This one can be used for eyeshadow or like precise application, maybe nose contour and things like that. And then number six, I think number six and seven are the most popular brushes because they're very multi-purpose kind of brushes. Um, it's a very good size so you can apply foundation with it. Um, what else? Contour, bronzer, highlighter. It's just perfect for like applying anything on your face really. It's such a good shape. Um, so yeah, this is number six. I'm gonna do my best and apply my makeup in five minutes. Normally when I get ready every day, I do my makeup in 15 minutes and that's, you know, I'm pretty relaxed. So it might be a little bit difficult, but let's see. I'm also sipping on some tea. Um, I kind of like energy today and this is energizing tea. I didn't want to have more coffee because I already had a few cups today. So this is from Timi. And it's their herbal energizing tea. So it's not, and I put some lemon in it so it tastes very fresh and like it's zesty and energizing. So I'm gonna sip on that while doing my makeup. I'm setting my timer on five minutes. Let's go. So I've been told that the best way to apply foundation with these brushes is to not squirt the foundation directly on the brush, but rather to put it on your face or on your on the palm of your hand so that the brush doesn't absorb the foundation. Also, you're not supposed to press the brush too hard on your face, so rather just glide on the surface of your face. Okay, so far so good. This brush is doing a great job. Honestly, my foundation has already been blended. How crazy is that? That's it, my foundation is on. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to have more coverage. Um, let's see. 
one minute in. Whoa, the application is absolutely flawless, no streak marks whatsoever. I mean, this brush is massive, so obviously it applies our makeup super quick. That's it, it's like flawlessly blended in. Oh my god. I'm impressed, loving this brush already. What's next? A bit of concealer. Okay. Oh, my hands are starting to shake. I hate being in a rush. Mm. This one is way too big for concealer, but maybe let's try this one. I'm just using my Lancome Epicer concealer to brighten my under eye area. <laughs> it kind of looks like I'm applying my makeup with a spoon, right? Okay, it blends everything so flawlessly. Whoa, it's like a beauty blender in a brush form. Next up, we have eyebrows. I'm just gonna brush them upwards. I'm using my camera screen as a mirror right now and I'm gonna, how much do we have? Ah, my timer is gone. I have one minute, 30 seconds left, what? So I'm just using my Bobbi Brown eyebrow product. Damn it, my hands are shaky. So this is just gonna give um, quite a fluffy eyebrow look. Not as precise as using um, an angle brush that's okay if you're in a rush oh my god I cannot do this 40 seconds next up are uh, I'm gonna use my Mac all that glitters um, eyeshadow Just putting it all over my eyelid. I have to say, it feels very strange. Applying your eyeshadow with a brush like that. Ah! What? 18 seconds? Are you kidding me? No, I cannot do this, guys. It's impossible. I mean, it's possible, but not for me. Oh, it blends so easily. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? What the hell? Was that really five minutes? I can't believe it. Did I just really spend five minutes? Okay, so that's what I would have done in five minutes. Well, the base is applied flawlessly, but the rest, not so much. I mean, okay, so now I'm just gonna polish my look a little bit and uh, tell you guys what I feel about these brushes. So yeah, this one for eyebrows, I feel like if you have maybe thick eyebrows and you just need to make them look a little bit more fluffy and thicker, it's good, but if you need a precise eyebrow application, mm, it's not the right brush. Okay, now for eyeshadow, this one is good for just packing the color on and it blends it out really 
seamlessly like there are no you cannot really see the the lines where the eyeshadow starts and ends and I'm surprised because it's so dense you would think it wouldn't be a good brush for blending out the shadow but it actually is so now I'm just taking um, a matte brown from MAC and putting it in the crease of my eye let's see lower lash line I was told that traditional makeup brushes are meant for makeup artists and these ones are made for self makeup application um, which kind of makes sense considering their shape now I'm taking the skinny brush again number one just to put some color on my lower lash line yeah this is what this brush is great for for um, adding color on your lower lash line using my beloved Lancome Hypnose Volume Apporté Mascara honestly my hands are shaking I hate stressful makeup application I'm gonna use NYX Wonder Stick which is a contour and highlight stick and I absolutely love the contouring shade just gonna do a stripe here a stripe here and some on my temples to look like a crazy person I really like this color because it's not too dark I'm just gonna use the number six brush to blend it in Oh, it's so good for blending out your contour look at that it took like two seconds now these brushes are fantastic for blending out the product now to add some color to my face I'm gonna use my pure um, highlight palette it's called Sunkist glow and it has a bronzer a blusher and a highlight shade I'm just gonna use the bronzer shade I'm gonna roughly apply it with my finger just on my cheeks where the Sun would hit my face a bit on my nose the top of my forehead and a bit on my chin so I'm just gonna blend it in the number six brush so if you are someone who's always on a rush these are amazing now I'm gonna use Tanya Burr this is her blush stick in holiday happiness I'm gonna apply a generous amount of that on my cheeks I'm gonna use the same brush to blend it in That's so lovely. Just gonna put some highlighter. Blend it in with the same brush. Now I'm gonna use the big brush to powder my skin. Let's see how that works. That's really good but it's um, it's pretty hard and stiff I prefer more fluffy brushes for powder I think this is better uh, for foundation and like bronze or cream product this is clay crush from Maybelline it's just a matte nude lipstick so guys my makeup is now complete I obviously couldn't do it in five minutes it just doesn't work for me my initial thoughts this brush is definitely my favorite I'm gonna use it for applying my foundation every single day one thing is that I've already starting to notice foundation stains on the white rubbery part so it's going to get grubby very quickly um, but I, I suppose you can clean it easily and it's it's just amazing for blending out your foundation like down your neck and it just makes the application so quick and easy um, if I apply my makeup 
in 15 minutes in the morning it's gonna take even less than that using a brush like this so it's the star from the four brushes that I have for me and the second place goes to this one because it's very multi-purpose as I said bronzer blusher highlighter even eyeshadow you can apply so many things with just one brush so essentially you need only these two and these two are my least favorite uh, not because they are bad brushes this one for me personally you know I don't really do eyeliner um, for my eyebrows I prefer my angled brush and uh, for lip liner I mean you can use it for lip liner I would personally only use this to apply eyeshadow on my lower lash line but if you like to do precise makeup something artsy this would be good for you number three it's not bad it's good for as you can see this is my eyeshadow it's pretty good for like everyday eyeshadow application but I feel like if you want a more precise like smoky eye or something like that it can be a bit tricky you need to play with this a little bit more because I'm so used to uh, traditional eyeshadow brushes maybe I'll fall in love with it but yeah other than that these are the stars of the show if my opinion on these brushes changes anytime soon I'll update you guys to let you know if you're wondering how to clean them I suppose you can uh, clean them with a mild soap or shower gel maybe like um, baby shampoo but what artists recommend cleaning them with is uh, with this brush cleaning pad so I'm gonna give it a shot right now to clean these brushes so this is what the pad looks like it just feels like one of those super absorbent towels and it's plastic on the other side and then you have artist brush cleansing foam so you just apply after using a brush you, you should clean it immediately especially the foundation brush and you just do this it has a little bit of a scent but it's very mild and your brush should be clean yeah it is so you should just give them a little clean after each application to keep your brushes nice and hygienic and then maybe once a week give them um, a deeper cleanse i would say i recommend them maybe not every single brush but just have a look at the brushes and then you can decide which one you think would be good for your makeup collection i really hope you guys enjoy this video i was very very curious about the brushes myself i always wondered how well they perform and now i know now i'm pretty impressed i have to say have a lovely day and i'll talk to you very soon bye